very interesting question. I would suppose that competition is necessary if you want to select the best candidates. Though when I think of competition and raising children and even a, a personal development course that I'm doing at the moment, where Bob Proctor, who just recently died, talks about experts don't compete, they create. And he named a couple of experts, I think an expert golfer, and he mentions that you should compete against yourself and become the best version of yourself by creating something new. So certainly I can imagine in university or if you have certain very, very specific criteria, then you would need to set up a competition where you can sift out those particular characteristics. But I remember when I was sitting for my matriculation exams in high school and I had a really bad fever and terrible relationship with my mother and felt totally misunderstood by the examiner who was supervising the examination. I came with my thermos can full of herbal tea and I was not permitted to take it into the examination room. So I felt unfairly treated and that it was not actually a fair competition and that my qualifications were not being fairly tested. So I would say it always depends on the particular situation and you need to be very careful about the criteria the selection criteria that you are testing, that you can really test for those characteristics that you're looking for, like like job applications also, same thing, same thing. <laughs>